This is Laser Pecker, the world's smallest smart portable laser engraver. Start from scratch. Automatic lifting and focusing. It can determine the height of the object accurately and engrave precisely. Laser Pecker can copy your sketch to make it work on your desktop. Choose a favorite photo and connect to your smartphone or tablet and start engraving immediately. There are no restrictions on Laser Pecker. Record your ideas at any time, anywhere, with any pattern and style. Exclusive foldable protective cover provides better protection and using experience. You can also use it to cut out the model from cardboard or blanket. With Laser Pecker, you can decorate your home or even your loved ones. Make the ordinary day become extraordinary. Personalize your item. Draw and engrave on craft cardboard, wood, leather, and many other materials with so many different applications. It is also suitable for expanding tripods. Carve any place that belongs to you. Laser Pecker is compact and portable. It can be lifted, folded, and stored fast. You can take it anywhere. It's easy to get Laser Pecker ready to work. Laser engraving is as simple as having a cup of coffee. Realize all your imaginations with Laser Pecker. crafty friends my name is Carrie and I want to welcome you back to my channel y'all I've got a quick little review I want to do for you I just picked up a laser that I got delivered here to my house it's so stinking cute oh my gosh I cannot wait to unbox this thing and see what all it can do so let's get started okay y'all the name of this is Alfero that is the company and the model is going to be the LU2-4SF it got here super quick. It came from Amazon and y'all, let's jump in and see what's all in the box and what all it's gonna take to get this baby set up. Let's cut this box open and get started. 
The first thing that I notice as soon as I open up the box is all of the foam. Y'all, this thing is packaged so incredibly well. Each little piece of the laser has got its own compartment, and I really love that they thought to use the QR codes for you to pull up the instruction manual. I think that's our laser head. We've got some goggles. We've got our power cords. And then there's our laser. So let's just pull all of the foam off of this and get this puppy out of here. I'm so excited to get started on this. I can hardly stand it, y'all. I'm not even kidding when I tell you this thing is packaged incredibly, incredibly well. Okay, we're almost there. Ta-da! Look how cute it is! Looks like the company also included some materials to practice on, which is great. Because it came pre-assembled, all we had to do was to attach the little yellow wire and the white wire and put the laser head on, and y'all, that's it. And next, we're just gonna screw in the little piece here. This is what's gonna be our little focus tool. We're gonna slide this onto the rail, and y'all, we're ready to get started. Look how easy that is. So that's going to be the focus. We're going to set the focus like that. And once we get it where we needed it to, we're just going to tighten it down. Okay, now that we've got it all unboxed and put together, wasn't that easy? I'm super excited to jump in and see what this puppy can do. But safety first. Aren't these goggles so sexy? Do I look cute? Next, I'm going to plug in the power cord as well as the USB port. We're gonna power this thing on and y'all, we are off to the races. I did go ahead and mount my laser on a piece of scrap plywood and I'm also gonna use a piece of the cardboard as a template. The laser is compatible with Windows and Mac and you can either use the free GRBL software or you can use the Lightburn software to power the laser. I'm familiar with Lightburn so that's what I'm gonna be using today. So I'm just gonna open up my light burn and because we're working on a 7.71 by 7.71 engraving area, I'm gonna draw a seven inch square and then I'm gonna power up the laser to draw that square onto my cardboard so I know exactly where to put my materials. There was some thin pieces of wood for you to practice on, but I'm gonna jump right in with my Arteza wood slices. These are roughly three inches in diameter, so I'm gonna draw me a three inch circle. Next, I'm gonna pick a pretty font and just type Merry Christmas. I'm gonna make that the size I need it to be inside my circle. Next, I'm gonna change that to a fill and change the power. They do give you a guide for power, which is good. So next we've got our circle. We're gonna put our focus tool on top of our wood slice, tighten down that laser head. Next, we're gonna remove that focus tool and y'all, we are ready to start engraving. Isn't that fun? Y'all, it's not bad for my first try, but I do want it to be engraved just a little bit darker, so I'm gonna repeat that process. As long as you don't move anything and you just hit start again, you'll be just fine. And now that second try is much better. Next, I wanna use a scrap piece of leather to make some leather earrings. Aren't those cute? I did do this in two passes, and y'all look how cute these little earrings are. I'm also gonna try slate next. These are some slate tiles that I had picked up at Michael's, and y'all, I'm very, very impressed. Okay, I'm even gonna get brave because I saw on their website that this could be done. It says you can do food. Oh my gosh, the possibilities. Okay, y'all, I have to admit, this little Arfuro laser had a lot more power than I expected it to. I wasn't expecting such great results with the slate or the leather. And the food was a totally unexpected option. Now, if you're going to use it for food, I highly suggest that you dedicate your laser just for food only and don't intermix and mingle those materials. Food should be only done for food. But y'all, isn't this such a fun little laser? I love that it came pre-assembled and it was super easy to use. 
Y'all, I'm really excited about the possibilities that this new Arfero laser is going to give me. I'm even thinking about bringing this to my local farmer's market so I can engrave on keychains or any um, other little things that I can bring with me already cut out so that all I have to do is engrave on them. I think that's going to be a super fun thing to be able to offer my customers there. Thank you.